Here is a quick creative use of the undo brush using Affinity Photo for iPad. Let's first convert this image to black and white by adding a black and white adjustment. In the black and white adjustment, I will adjust the color values so I have a more contrasty image. Let's open up the layers panel and move the black and white adjustment into the image layer so that it gets clipped to the image layer. In order to use the undo brush, we need a snapshot. Open up the history panel, select snapshots and press the plus sign to add a snapshot. Once we have our snapshot, make sure to enable the icon at the right, which indicates that this snapshot will be used for the undo brush. Let's go back to the layers panel and add a fill layer, which will act as our new background, followed by a pixel layer on which we will paint with the undo brush. Select the undo brush and from the brush panel, choose a nice texture or spray brush. Lower the flow percentage and adjust the brush size. Start slowly brushing in. Experiment with multiple brush types to create a very nice layered effect. You can also use the erase brush with a texture brush style to artistically remove areas you painted in earlier. Thanks again for tuning in, but keep watching for an additional quick tip. You can add an additional pixel layer on top and set its blend mode to multiply. Apply the undo brush with different brush styles to darken areas creatively. As a final step, you can also add another pixel layer in screen or add blend mode. Using the undo brush on this layer will allow you to creatively brighten areas from the multiply layer below. Pretty awesome. Be creative and until the next video.